Good morning and welcome to Cork. Match tonight is Cork City versus Galway United in the League of Ireland Division 1. It's first versus second, so it's a huge game. I'm back in Ireland again. I was here earlier in the year for the Dublin derby. That was Bohemians versus Shamrock Rovers. It was an absolutely brilliant game and I totally caught the bug for Irish football. If you've not seen that video, I'll put a link at the end of this one and then you can go and check that one out. Do me a favour and if you've watched any of my other videos, then subscribe to the channel. And also, if you watch this one and like it, subscribe and give it a like as well, that'd be amazing. I've got 24 hours in Cork, so the plan is a very simple one. Today we explore the city, tonight we go to the match, and tomorrow we fly home. Loads to cram in, so let's get going. We're going to jail, Cork City Jail. Um, had a look online, it looks like a pretty cool place to check out, so um, that's where we're headed next. Just finished the tour of the prison there, really enjoyed it. The building looks amazing from outside and you go in and you learn about some of the former prisoners and the history of the building and all that sort of stuff. I'm around the back now and there's all these old like dilapidated buildings where the nature's kind of reclaimed so it looks really really cool. I definitely recommend coming here. Heading back into the town now to meet Kevin. Basically what happened was I booked a tour, sort of a photography tour and Kevin messaged me and said that he was going to be taking the tour. It turns out that he's a massive Cork City fan and he's a club photographer so um, I'm really excited to go meet him now so let's head there now and uh, go and catch up with Kevin. Nice to meet you mate, nice you well? I'm very good. Very yeah, good, good. Since 2015, apart from European games and Covid, I've been to every game, home and away. I might have missed one or two. When did you start going to Cork? My dad brought me to games the end, tail end of the 2013 season and then we bought a season ticket for 2014 and we've had season ticket me and him ever since. Since 2014 up until about 2018, we were always first or second getting to cup finals every year. League getting... win in 2017, yeah. right? Yeah. Double, Dublin 2017, cup 2016, and like we were winning trophies. We were like, it was us and Dundalk. I don't know what happened. It was just financially, we were doing too much spending. There was no control. Right, right. Tonight, it should be, from what I've heard, we sold about 5,000, I think. Oh, wow. I think. But like, there could be six and a half there. I saw easily. that, um, I think, some of the fans have got a few things planned as well. Is it, did you say it's in the yeah. shed? Yeah, in the shed. So the shed would be, we play into the shed the second half. That would be the most, that would be our ultras, the most vocal sport. When I'm photographing it, I sit right in front of the shed into a corner and every time the players score, they run right past me or right up to me and it's brilliant, like the emotion the raw emotion and the fans. It sounds cliche now because we're playing Galway tonight and all that, but about a month ago, up in Galway, winning with 10 men against them, I just, it felt so raw and good. Like <laughs> players coming over and just screaming into the camera. It felt so, I think everybody was connected with the club for like the whole week after they were just on a, on a buzz like. Yeah. When you've got a local club like Cork City, which is yeah. quite a small operation and it's really local, you get to have that personal... Yeah, I think it's just, it, it's a one, it's a big community. I used to go to like the kids camps when I was younger, like when I was like 13, 14, and we had a keeper and his sister used to sit next to us, to a few of us um, at the games. And she, she actually asked me, she's like, you you did the camps before? He's like, yeah, yeah. And he, she said that um, he actually remembered you and he gave me 
one of his cup final jerseys. And that was huge. I was like, this is unreal. That's so cool that like, I don't know that you can have that connection with the club as well, like at that level. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's a big community. And I think it means, it means a lot to the people that are involved in it. And um, it makes a lot of people happy. Coming into this season in the first division, two years in the first division, we were getting higher, we're getting higher crowds now on average than we were the last two years in the Premier. It's a club on the up. The whole, is, it's, there's a real positive energy. And yeah. it's, it's brilliant to be a part of it. Like. Just left Kevin. Uh, he's gone to get his bus to prep for the match. Really, really enjoyed that. So, so knowledgeable about Cork City and Irish football in general. Loved hearing all the stories about Cork City and his time supporting them. I'm going to catch up with him at the match later, um, but now it's time to go and grab some food because I'm absolutely starving. I've got out of the sun for a few minutes and come to Marina Market. Absolutely massive like former warehouse, something like that. Um, on the docks, uh, you pass all like the ships and the shipyards and docks and stuff and come to this huge container with every possible food you can imagine in here. It's great. Ordered a burger <laughs> because I always do. Only one thing about this place, soft drinks only, so no beers. So we'll maybe sit outside, have the burger, which I'm sure will be great, looks amazing, and then go and find a beer. Burger scene off. Well, I say scene off, it saw me off. It was absolutely massive, but it was really good. A really nice place that as well. Didn't sell beer though, which is a bit of a shame, but I guess that's why maybe it wasn't too busy. It was actually uh, fairly quiet in there. Anyway, onto the game. The state of play is this. Cork City, currently top of the League of Ireland first division on 49 points. Galway United are second on 48 points. The Galway manager is John Caulfield, who is a Cork City legend as a player and a manager. He was actually the manager when Cork City last won the Premier Division title. So there's narrative all over the place. I was already really looking forward to this one, but speaking to Kevin before, he has assured me that the atmosphere is gonna be incredible. The fans are going to put on a real show and it's a huge game. Let's head to the stadium now and get stuck in. Tension's building, what a night for it as well. Shed's already making a load of noise, they got the drums, it's packed now. They're really, really, really up for it. And so am I. Kick off time then, here we go.
has just broken loose. The player broke free down the right hand side. Cynical tackle by the Galway. Left back, I think it was. Pulled him down. Ref came over. I was expecting a yellow. Dished out the red straight away. Galway down to 10 men. section around the halfway line. I think they're actually replacing some seats here, but it's pretty cool, so I think we're going to move seats for the second half as well, see if that can uh, inspire a bit of luck. Red card came as a big surprise. Play running through down the right-hand side, brought down. I thought it was just going to be a yellow card, but the ref pulled out the red. I think everyone was pretty surprised. Galway have dug in, and now it's probably going to be an attack versus defence for the rest of the game. I was told beforehand that Galway would play really direct style and that is what they've done and it, it was really effective and I thought that they had the upper hand until they had the man set off so it really really has changed the game. Cork have played really controlled passing game, um, knocking it around the box just waiting for that final ball in, patient build up. I think Cork will step up the pressure in the second half and this patient build up will finally get that final ball and fingers crossed we'll see a goal. to Galway to play for that length of time with 10 men and carry such a threat going forward still absolutely take my heart to them they were they were brilliant Galway I think you've got to say that even as a Cork fan and the fans were great too obviously the Cork fans were great and I was waiting for that end to absolutely explode when they scored but they just didn't I'll have to come back and hopefully when I do come back they owe me a few goals Right then, home time at the airport now, about to get my flight back. 24 hours have absolutely flown by and I've loved it. It's been brilliant again. Cork's a really cool city. Ireland's a beautiful country. Massive thanks to Kevin for speaking to me yesterday and showing me around and prepping me for the game. I learned more about Irish football in the 
couple of hours that I was speaking to him than I ever would have done looking online and Googling stuff. There's so much I love about Irish football, the summer league, the Friday night kickoffs, the clubs are all really community led, all the fans are so passionate, the games are always cut and thrust and end to end. Last night had no goals but it was a really really good game. The football was great, the fans were great, we just had everything apart from goals. I wish that volley would have gone in, that the roof would have come off the place. I've definitely got the bug for Irish football now and I will 100% be back for another game in the future. If you've enjoyed this video or enjoyed any of my other videos, do me a favour and give them a like and also subscribe to the channel, it just helps other people find it. Hopefully I'll be back over here soon but until then I'll see you on the next one.